the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. This is another great piece of 1980s computer history. Selling over 3 million units, this computer dominated the UK computer market and made many games available on the system. Today I'm going to show you how to play all of these for free in 2023. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to download is the Specky Emulator. So you search up Specky Emulator on Google. And you want to going to click on this one. This is the um, emulator we're looking for. This emulates Spectrum in the SAM Coop, which is a Specky clone. It emulates many different versions of the Spectrum and modes. And yeah, so they have a DOS, Linux, Windows, and Android and Symbian for Nokia and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to want to download the Windows version because that's the operating system I'm currently using. So I'm just going to download that. It's going to... Okay, so it's now downloaded. So yeah, now we're going to get into downloading games. Okay, so the next site you're going to want to go to is World of Spectrum. Now this is the official World Archive for the ZX Spectrum. As you can see, the creator of the ZX Spectrum, Sir Clive Sinclair, actually quoted on this site. So yeah, it is actually an official site and it is totally legal. Just like sites like DOS Games Archive, this only has legal downloads of software. So yeah, I'm just going to go and grab a game. Oh, blocking it, but I'll just type in it. I'm just going to download Manic Miner. If you've played Commodore, I mean, not Commodore, I meant ZX Spectrum, you would know what this is. So, yeah, Manic Miner, here we go. I usually just download the tape file, so we're going to go to Files. And then tap image file and download that. Okay, so now that that's downloaded, now we're going to play the game. Okay, so now that you've downloaded your games and stuff, now I'm going to show you how to play them in the emulator. So you're going to want to go into the specy folder that we downloaded. I've just extracted this to my desktop. And yeah, you can see the game. Sorry, I've, I've only set up a small region just because, just so the file doesn't get big. But you can see Specky. So we're going to want to open that. As you see, we'll be um, greeted with a menu for the 128K Spectrum. See here, it says 1986 Sinclair Research Limited. Um, I mean, you're going to want to drag this. As you can see, it says Manic Miner. And then you get the horrific Manic Miner thing. It's going to turn down my volume. It's loud. So, not like Commodore emulators, you don't actually have to set up the controls. So you can just play the game. As you see, I'm playing the game right now. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not that good at Manic Miner, but you can see the game works actually f absolutely fine. It has some options, like you can use MIDI. You can also change filters. Um, you see? It looks a bit weird now, but you can change filters to enhance the game a bit. And you can even use MIDI to make it sound a tiny bit better. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you found this video good. Thanks for watching, guys.